It was his assigned duty to be up early in the morning and be on his way to the baker's to buy rolls and pandesal for the breakfast table. He was 14 and he already got used to his task. On his way, he thought of the bread of salt. For his reward, he only had to look in the direction of the seawall and the 50 yards or so of riverbed beyond it where an old Spaniard house stood. He looked around the landscape at daybreak and once again remembered how much he adored I, the niece of the old Spaniard who he thought he was destined to serve just like his late grandfather. At times, he thought it was his duty to stay in the house of the service of young maiden. It's his go signal when he hears the wooden shoes of Ida clicking the wooden floor of the veranda and would follow her taking the route she had fixed for him past the post office, town plaza, church, health center, east of the plaza, and last the school grounds. During his PE, his mind wasn't set for the game and in class, he didn't even notice the teacher was calling him because he thought of Ida again. In his violin, where Ida's name was printed, while striking his vow against the strings of violin, Mr. Custodio, who was in charge of their school orchestra, became aware of his progress. He moved him from second to first violin. What people now observed at home was the diligence with which he attended to his violin lessons. His aunt, who had come from the farm to join her children for the holidays, brought with her a maid servant, and to the poor girl, she was given the chore of taking the money to the bakers for rolls and pandesal. He realized that once that it would be be no longer becoming on his part to make these morning trips to the bakers. He heard Pete Saez call his name and asked if he could join his private band and perform in one engagement after the another. He was happy to earn money through his own skill, although it was with utter bitterness that he had to endure rehearsals despite the outward disapproval of his aunt against his chosen field. She thought musicians are no better than dogs scurrying to get their mouths on food scraps in trash pits. But he didn't mind, thinking that the money he'll earn from playing the violin will allow him the capacity to buy a brooch and beautiful stationery for his eye for his ardent love letters to Ida. It was about an assault to the next Sunday. It was about an assault to the next Sunday, which the Buenavista for his ardent love letters to Ida. It was it was about an assault to the next Sunday, which the Buenavista Women's Club wished to give Don Esteban's daughters. Josefina and Alicia, who were giving on the morning streamer from Manila. Then he was invited together with Sa'es band. This pinsters this pin this pinsters were much loved by the ladies. Years ago, when they were younger, these ladies taught these ladies taught in Solfeggio with Josefina in the piano and harp with Alicia. He was honored to be in a sophisticated gathering and got magnified look at Ida's stunning beauty. He was beside himself with immeas he was beside himself with immeasurable joy and pride, but but will later on be displaced by an equally immeasurable embarrassment at the buffet table after Ida caught him sneaking some sweets into his po into the pocket under his shirt. She, 
She nonetheless offered him a big package of food after the party, but due to intense shame, he lost the composure to react. Along with the entire ardor he used to shower the maiden with. After the party, they led the guest home with their music, then with Paez, who went to the bakery to buy Pandasal with his own money, his salary. It wasn't five in the morning, that's why the bread wasn't ready yet, so they went home. <laughs>